Welcome back to Black Renaissance. With us now is an entrepreneur who created a tool to scratch lotto tickets more efficiently. Uh, more efficiently, please welcome Roland Morning. Roland, grand to see you. Uh, this tool, uh, I've got one right here in my hand. This is it. Uh, but the great thing about this is proceeds from the sales of this, your first invention, mm -hmm. will go to an important cause. Yes. Uh, and that cause, of course, is the anti-bullying campaign. Yes. Why that campaign? Why is it important to you and close to your heart? Um, well, the campaign is really close to my heart. When I was a kid, um, I had nice clothes and everything like that. And one of my friends, he was, he was a bully. And uh, one of the reasons why he was a bully is because his clothes wasn't you know, all up to par and stuff. Yeah. And so he got a lot of slack from other kids and stuff. So um, I gave him some clothes and this is one of the reasons why he was a bully. So I was like, hey, you know, you don't have to be that way. So uh, really close to my heart and stuff. He's a dear friend of mine and stuff. He's a great guy now and stuff. But I know that all the bullying is not because the kids are mean or anything like that. Sometimes it's just because of their clothes and stuff. Uh, your friend has turned his life around. Oh, yes. You've turned your life around as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. I've turned my life around too. Um, I got in trouble when I was a kid, like a lot of kids from the inner city and stuff. Um, I actually got my GED when I went to when I was in prison. Yeah. Um, when I got out, I took care of business. I had a family at the time and stuff, and so you know, I started to do better and stuff. How do you hope some of the proceeds that you make uh, and donate to anti-bullying? How do you hope those uh, proceeds and the money will be used? Well, I hope that most of the proceeds from my pen will help um, middle school, which I think is one of the hugest problems with our kids today. Um, middle school, 6th, 7th, and 8th grades is the turning point where most of them become either grown-ups at that point or they become gang members or something. So that's real dear to me. And I think if we start there and get them before they get to the ninth grade and stuff, we can really help them out right there. And you grew up in Pittsburgh. You are a Bay Area guy. Yes. Uh, so growing up, I'm sure there's a lot of bullying going on yes. going on all around you, right? Yes, Pittsburgh, California is a um, real tough place to grow up at yeah. if you're a kid and stuff. A lot of stuff going on out there, a lot of stuff for kids to get into and stuff. And I just want to be able to tell the next generation how to get stuff done without being a bully, without selling drugs, without doing anything by it or anything like that. Well, you now can put the moniker inventor next yeah. to your name, yes. your first patent. Yes. That, that had to be a bit of a challenge. How did you get this made? Um, well, I got the uh, home moment back in um, 2012. Um, a little bit of help from a lot of people and stuff and um, end up signing a deal with someone, a lucrative deal with my manufacturer who loves me and um, we got to making the pen and stuff. So, so far we've um, got this pen in front of um, 85 countries and lotteries and sea stores right now. And this really is hot off the presses because yes. this, this is pretty new, right? Yes, brand new. Yeah. Um, has a stylus on it, it has a light on it, a lot of people like to scratch at night time and stuff. Um, it has a a cleaning stone on it. It actually is really, really cool. You can actually use it and it won't cause a mess. You don't even have to put your um, lottery ticket on the surface. You can actually hold it in the air and scratch it without putting it on a table or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. And as someone who once in a blue moon does the lotto, does having this pen increase the chances of winning? Oh yes. <laughs> you, can, you can actually see the see your numbers on there a lot, lot better. And plus, um, if you're older, you have arthritis, a lot of benefits with it. You can actually see what's going on on yeah. your ticket. So it's, it's a really, really unique um, thing and stuff. I'm one of uh, 50 guys who've tried to invent this. I'm the first one that did it. And what was it about your invention that that passed the test? Um, the batteries. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it wasn't the batteries and stuff. Um, everybody who tried to invent before um, a, a scratch off pen, none of them had the capacities to add the batteries and stuff to it. So I finally um, figured it out and got the batteries in there. Our later model will have um, a screen in it so you don't have to go to the store anymore to um, receive the winning numbers. We'll actually be porting them to that pen. So we'll be able to scratch your lottery tickets and also receive the winning numbers in it. So. Uh, and it's fair to say that, that this market, this business, is pretty massive. So if this is a success for you, it's going to turn into a success for the anti-bullying yes, campaign in yes, terms of the money that you give. Yes, uh, how big a business is it exactly? Uh, the actual lottery scratch-off business, just for lotteries, is about $78 billion. It's really, really huge around the world. I'm already talking to about 85 lotteries in countries around the world right now. And um, actually, I did a interview with 
Contra Costa Times yesterday and uh, went to lunch with my girlfriend and ran into a guy from 7-Eleven who owns nine 7-Elevens here in the Bay Area. Yeah. So we're going to be doing um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing one of our promotionals at his store where we give out 100 lottery tickets to come out and try our pen. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do it at his store and then out in um, Valero in Somersville. So. so I know if this does well, this could go all over the world. Oh, yes. But in terms of the money that you raise for the anti-bullying campaign, is it important for you to ensure that money stays close to home? Yes. Will it be local programs? Yes, will be it will be. I, I'm, I'm currently talking to a guy out in Oakland that runs a boys club out there. So it's going to be local out here um, where it's close to me because I'm actually going to be a person that's getting involved with it. I would love to go out there and talk to the youth myself. Being a person who's come from the street, um, this is something that's real, real valuable to me. And I think passing the message to these youths will get them a brighter day, too. Uh, and I have to ask you, I'm sure there are people watching wondering how much this will cost them. Um, it's going to be $9.95 in the store. Um, go to my website, either autolottoscratcher.com or our tool is called the Easy Lotto Scratcher. Roland, thank you so much. Thank great, you. great invention. Cheers, my thank friend. You, you heard it from him, Auto Lotto Scratcher. That's autolottoscratcher.com. We will be back with more Black Renaissance next month. We hope you'll join us then. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.